In this video, I'm going to demonstrate you what kind of problems occur when we create material, edit material, or assign material. I haven't assigned a material yet, and therefore I'm going to open the material library from NX and assign a Chrome material to my solid body. In the Advanced Studio, the preview render display mode isn't very satisfying. Maybe you have expected reflections because of the material Chrome, but there are no reflections. If I open the Ray Trace Studio, you can see even here the material seems black. Strangely, if I design a chopper, for example, there is a reflection. And if I take nickel, there are reflections. Only Chrome does not reflect. That is because the material property of Chrome is only reflective like also a material called mirror. All the other materials have an additional diffuse layer. And by use of this preview mode, NX cannot calculate a material which only has a reflecting layer. For the creation or modification of a material, you should always use the preview mode photo reel. I have assigned the material chopper now, and it's slightly blue reflections here, which is depending on the image-based lightning image. The reflection now is very realistic and very close to the static image quality, and also Chrome now is satisfying. The question now is how do we display a reflection in the Advanced Studio now? On the one side, you have to use the preview mode full render because this will turn on the image-based lightning and its image for the reflection. Within the scene editor, we should adjust the image to fit to our overall scene. Here you can see that image-based lightning wasn't even enabled yet. I have enabled full render, which uses image-based lightning, but I additionally have to enable use real-time image-based lightning within the Advanced Studio settings. Now there is a lightning image in use. And you can see that these white spots are a bit different than compared to the standard light sources. And if I have a look at the image which was used for the image-based lightning, you can see it's called Deeper Woods. Let's have a further look at the image palette. And on the bottom you can see the wood reflections which I prefer using because it's a very high dynamic image which includes a very small bright area compared to the large shadow areas. And you can see the reflection behavior really well because you have a lot of details from the picture being reflected on your material. Right now you can't see any details in the reflection. This is based on two reasons. On the one side the picture is not accurate enough. You have to define the accuracy here, and as far as I shift to the left, you can see the woods. On the other hand, I have a setting here which is called Lightning Image Blur. In case of creating a rendering, the image-based lightning is on the one side used for lightening the image, and for reflections on the other hand. There is a difference, at least when computer graphics are computed. The lightning image is at the moment, how shall I say, maybe too accurate. The picture is very good right now for specular reflections, but as a lightning source it's too accurate and you can use the blur to blur the image pixels. But thereby you can see the mirroring reflection is lower. That's computer graphics. If the specular reflection shall be very accurate, you have the disadvantage to use none as lightning image blur. And diffuse surfaces seem to be very stained because lightning image blur is blurring the reflections. Sadly, in the advanced studio, you have to decide whether to have a good reflection specular or diffuse. It's really not possible to display the surfaces how they look like in the ray tracing studio. That's why you should always enable the Ray Tracing Studio at the same time when creating or assigning materials. And a hint from mine, when the scene is very complex and large, hide everything which is not necessary because then you get a very fast preview of your material modifications in this render window.